What's up, ghost hunters? We have some big news from Phasmophobia. A couple weeks ago, I put out a video that, well, you could wishlist, you know, the game on PlayStation and eventually Xbox, but now we finally have actual release date for consoles for Phasmophobia. Hopefully this all works out. I know probably people still have PTSD from last year about the game releasing to consoles or getting ready to release to consoles and then it never happened. Kinetic Games announced that the game will release October 29th, 2024 at 6 p.m. UTC on PlayStation 5, PSVR 2, and Xbox Series X and S. Which, guys, just in case you're wondering, I'll save you a Google search real quick. Uh, that's going to be 1 p.m. Central on the release day, and then 11 a.m. Pacific Time, you know, 12 p.m. Mountain, and then 2 p.m. Eastern for that release date. The console edition will match the PC version and will receive future updates at the same time, ensuring constant access to crossplay, meaning you'll be able to team up with other ghost hunters no matter what console you play on. At launch, console players will be able to take part in the Blood Moon event alongside PC players too. Now, I didn't see anything here about voice commands. Uh, the video a couple weeks ago, you know, we put out that you're not going to have access to like voice on the vo on the spirit box or talking to the ghost. That's not going to pick up. You will be able to have vo voice chat with other players, but you're not going to be able to use voice commands inside the game. That will come later. Doesn't look like they fixed that quite yet, so it should launch without that. It, but it still works fine. You can still use the spirit box and interact with the ghost with the Ouija board and stuff like that without having to use your voice. They also announced the Blood Moon update and the console update. That's basically going to take part on the PC version and the console version once it finally does come to it. It is a, an event. Blood Moon weather will rain down constantly across multiple locations in Phasmophobia. During the Blood Moon, we're tasking ghost hunters to work together to achieve a set of three community goals each with increasingly larger ID card rewards in order to unlock final rewards. So those are pretty cool. Everybody likes the ID card rewards. It make, make you, makes you look a little cooler in the multiplayer realm. Ghost Hunters will have from October 28th to November 13th to take part in the Blood Moon event. There's also a game update coming. All these fixes will release to PC and then consoles when it does release. The Blood Moon isn't the only thing coming to Phasmophobia this Halloween. We'll be releasing an update on PC alongside the event too. This update will bring with it a ton of optimizations and bug fixes, addressing community issues and general game performance. They're also introducing what they're calling an event board. It's a permanent fixture that will help ghost hunters track their ongoing challenges, rewards in game, as well as progress in the apocalypse challenges. And they will release further details uh, when the when the patch notes get released or closer to time. And when that happens, I will release another update video about the actual patch notes, what's getting fixed, what's getting altered. I mean, just simple, slight tweaks to the way a certain ghost acts, way that certain ghost hunts can completely change the game and how we play the game. It's gonna be really interesting what they tweak and what they what they alter and such. But like I said, the big news, guys, October 29th, 6 p.m. UTC time, PS5. PSVR 2 and Xbox Series S. It will be released. $19.99 is what we're looking at. 20 bucks for the game on uh, consoles. I am going to try to re request uh, some giveaway keys from Kinetic Games. So I'll try to hopefully get those. But if not, I'll be streaming the game on uh, PS5 most likely. So, all right, guys. Thank you and uh, happy hunting. See ya.